talk about box fill calculation. Box fill calculation we use to calculate what size box we're going to need to install devices and wires and so forth. So something that we need to understand, we need to understand that in article 314, uh, 16B, that's going to give us our volume uh, for conductors, one single conductor. So it basically states something like this. If you looked in the NEC code book, and we're talking about um, the 2014 code book, 14 is equal to cu 2 cubic inches. A number 12 conductor is worth 2.25, and a number 10 is worth 2.5. Now, if you go to Article 314, 16B, you will see that we have conductors all the way down to 6 gauge, okay, which will bring us to about a volume of 3, 3.5. Three um, but what we want to do is we want to know, okay, when I look at, when I'm wiring a box, what am I putting into that box? So let's take, let's say for instance, we're going to be looking for an outlet that's going to be fed at one location and it's going to branch out to two locations, okay? So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to be thinking about as we go through this, okay? A couple rules we have to understand. What do we calculate for a box fill calculation, Okay. Well, A, I showed you 314, 16B, that you know what the cubic inches for the conductor is. So we got to figure out what conductors do we use. We use the ungrounded conductor. We use the grounded conductor because, remember, we have a hot and a neutral. Okay, so it's, there's still current carrying conductors. We have the ground. The ground is not considered a current carrying conductor. It's a grounding means. It's a means to keep the con uh, continuity of a grounded circuit, so a grounding circuit. So what we're looking at is uh, we got to look at the ground. We also have to look at our device. What kind of device are we going to have in there? We also have to look at clamps. Internal clamps com uh, versus external clamps. Internal clamps are inside our box, so we have to count them. An external clamp, such as a Romex connector um, or a MC connector, whatever you, whatever you want to use, um, we're going to end up having to calculate something, right? If the clamp is internal, you count it. If the clamp is external, you do not count it. So that's one rule you need to remember right off the bat. Fixture yokes. We gotta, you got to know if you're putting a fixture yoke in for a lighting, um, lighting device, uh, hickeys, something of that nature, that's also calculated into our box fill. Wire nuts are really not considered... Um, space in our uh, box fill calculation. Really not understanding why, because it still is in there, but we basically size it off the wire, and you know, they have already gone through many times looking at a box fill calculation to figure out exactly what's good, and they, they haven't found anything. So, you know, that's a good thing. What we also have to remember, if we have wires running through a, con uh, a box, we also have to count those too, because remember, it's taking up volume in the box, okay? So let's look at the board. Ungrounded conductors and grounded conductors. We count for one wire size. So I'm going to give you this little example. If I have a number 12 conductor, and I, or excuse me, I have a Romex connector, I have two conductors coming in. I have an ungrounded and a grounded conductor. That means I have two conductors. Each conductor, if they're at 12, they're taken at 2.25 and 2.25, so it's actually going to be 4.50. Okay, so I hope you guys are following me. The ground. You can have one ground, you can have two grounds, you can have three grounds, you can have ten grounds. The ground in a box fill calculation is counted as one. Okay, it's the largest size ground conductor that you're going to use. Okay, I'll explain that more. Um, clamps. I just said clamps. Clamps are internal or external, if they're internal, they count as one also. Your device, your device, switch, outlet, if it's a single outlet, uh, a duplex outlet, or a triple outlet, it is considered, if it's got one yoke strap, it is considered two wire sizes. That's two wire sizes. If you have more than that, or a two gang box, and you have two devices in it, then you gotta count each device as two, so it's one device would be a uh, two, the other device would be taken as two. So two devices equals four wires. 
on the board here, I have a diagram, okay? And it's basically a box with two, uh, three Romexes coming in, okay? Remember, a Romex has two current carrying conductors and a ground conductor. Our box has an outlet in it. And this here says box has internal clamps. So we have an internal clamp holding this, this box here. Now, if I have two clamps in my box, I still only count it as one wire size. So let's do this calculation. If I'm using 14, 14 is two cubic inches per wire or conductor. So we're going to use two. Keep it simple this time. We have hot wire, we have neutral wire, we have hot wire, we have neutral wire, we have hot wire and neutral wire. Okay, so let's look at it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means this box has six current carrying conductors in it. What do we do next? Let's count the grounds. We have three grounds, but we're only counting them as one, number 14. So now we have seven. The, um, the internal clamps are counted as one. The ground is counted as one. So that's going to bring us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, the ground being seven, the internal clamps being eight, and then our device, you get it, it's counted as two. So we actually have 10 conductors that we're going to size. So how do we figure this out? What we're going to do is we're going to take two, which is our two cubic inch volume per conductor. We have 10 conductors. We're going to take that 10, multiply it by two, and that's going to give us a volume of 20 cubic inches. So basically we would need some type of device box that will fit 20 cubic inches. I hope this gives you a basic understanding of what box fill calculation is. We are going to go more in depth with box fill calculation in other videos. So please remember that if you subscribe and you ring the bell, you're going to always be up to date on the latest and greatest videos. Also, I want to remi uh, remind you guys, too, that more calculations, pipe fill, box fill, conduit fill, all this stuff is going to be rolling in together. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into other videos. But remember, if you like it, you subscribe, and ring the little bell, you'll be up to date at Craig Mashad Electrical Instructor. Thank you.